first of all applying painterly paint pot to my lid followed by the toasted shade from the Chi Chi Glamorous Nudes palette applying that all over the lid with a 217 like brush going in with the buck shade now with that same 217 brush and just blending that into the crease it's just an easy transition color so I'm making sure that's just really well blended going in with a fluffy brush using the virgin shade from the Chi Chi Nudes palette and highlighting the brow bone in the inner corner now using a tapered eye brush I'm using the hustle shade into the crease you can see just blending it out in small circular motions to really define the crease and then into the outer V as you'll see just to give the eye some dimension blending that back out with the original 217 brush going in with the hustle shade using a smudger brush just to emphasize the upper lash line I'm using an angled liner brush now in the creep shade I'm creating a little bit of a wing and then I want it a little bit more so I'm going in with the Urban Decay Zero pencil just dotting that really lightly filling in right between the lashes just to give a little bit more darkness to emphasize that upper lash line going back in with the angled brush and the creep shade to just set and smudge that pencil a little bit this is the look that I wore in my Urban Decay Naked Palette dupes video I'll link to that down below I'm going back in with that angled brush now right between the lashes so there's no gaps and I've turned the pencil around I'm using the bourbon side just to define the lower lash line I'm going back in with that smudger brush now into the hustle shade and sort of blending out and smudging and setting at the same time that brown pencil that I've laid down now I'm going into smog with that same smudger and just underneath where I put the hustle I'm just blending that color out on the lower lash line now I'm just applying mascara that's the Laura Mercier Full blown volume mascara it's okay for the upper and lower lashes and now I'm using a an eye concealer from covergirl and Olay simply ageless the shade 215 for my under eye area I like that one it's quite nice and creamy I'm using a Ray Morris angled foundation brush and also above the brow I'm just trying to create and bring a little bit of light to that area blending it out with my fingertip and brushing out the brows now with a spoolie before defining those brows using the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow Waterproof Eyebrow Corrector in number 25 using small short strokes with an angled liner brush just to fill those in if you've never filled in your brows before girls give it a try just practice before you take off your makeup for the day you'd be amazed at the difference it really can make to polishing off your face polishing off your look I brush that through again with a spoolie just to melt it all in and a behind the scenes snapshot for a youtuber you've got to take pictures on the way so these were stills that I took for that naked palette dupe video for the Chi Chi palette back to foundation now I'm applying the Garnier Miracle Skin Perfector BB cream for combination to oily skin a mixture of the light and medium shades and now I'm using one of the Mac Pro sculpting creams in coffee walnut you can use any powder bronzer or any cream bronzer that you've got even a foundation that you may have that's too dark for you using a Sigma Sigmax brush there I love that it's beautiful to um, contour the nose and also the jawline And now finally just sort of blending that out going in with Illamasqua Gleam in the shade Aurora with an Eco Tools retractable Kabuki I think is what that is and just giving a bit of a glow to the cheekbones there bringing a bit of light with that cream highlighter going in with a cream blush from NYX this is tea rose I'm not setting this with a powder today I wanted a sort of dewy look for the video 
So I'm using, you know, a cream bronzer, a cream highlight, a cream blush. And normally to go out during the day, I would set that with powder. Using a stippling brush for that cream blush, it's just very effective in really shearing that cream blush out. You can apply that obviously more pigmented as well. And on the lips, one of my favourites, the Rimmel 1000 Kisses Stay On Lip Liner Pencil in Cappuccino. And then a really nice, cheapy but a goodie, Ultra 3 Matte Lipstick in number 34, Brown Sugar. You can pick that up from Aussie Chemists, Terry White and others. Love that lip shade, it's beautiful. And that is the finished look. Loving the Chi Chi Glamorous Nudes palette. Pick it up if you can. I believe it's more and more widely available. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.